in this lecture we are going to talk about the element operators so element operators allows you to check the document fields you can check if a field exists on a document or not and you can also check if a field stores a specific type of value here i'm in the mongodb operators documentation and if i scroll down you will see that here we have element operators and basically we have two element operators exists and type so let's go ahead and let's talk about these two element operators one by one with some example and let's start with the exists operator so this exists operator what it does is it checks for a given field on a document and based on that it is going to filter the documents so for example let's say we have the products collection and in that products collection we want to filter all the documents where we have this discount field so let's say not all the products will have the discount field so we want to filter all the documents where we do have the discount field so for that as you can see here we are using this exists operator and to that we are assigning true in this case all the documents in the products collection where we have the discount field that will be returned that will be filtered but if we assign false to it in that case only those documents will be filtered in which we do not have the discount field let's see this practically so here in this products list you will see that for some of the documents we have the discount field and for some other documents we don't have the discount field so what i want is let's say i want to filter all the documents where we do have the discount field so for that here let's say db dot products dot find and to this find method since we want to filter something we are going to pass a filter object and we want to filter by discount field so let's specify the field name which is discount and now what do we want to check we want to check whether this discount field exists or not so to this discount field again we are going to assign an object in there we are going to use this exists operator and to this we are going to assign true if i go ahead and if i press enter all right we have a syntax error so we also need to close the outer object okay now if i press enter it has returned us all the documents where we do have the discount field so as you can see here we have the discount here also we have discount here also we have discount so all these documents which has been filtered here they all have the discount field okay let's also check the count so on this expression we can simply go ahead and we can call this count function if i press enter it has returned us nine documents so on the nine documents we have the discount field now i want to filter all those documents for which we do not have the discount field so for that to this exists operator we need to assign false so this exists operator it takes a boolean value we can assign it with true or false okay now let me remove this count from here and let's run this query so now you will see whatever document has been filtered here it does not have the discount field you see none of these documents have the discount field okay so the exist operator checks if a field is present in a document or not and based on that it filters the document then we have type element operator now what does this operator do this operator matches and returns documents that have a given field with a specific type with a specific bison type so for example let's say in the products document the price field can store a number value or a string value okay so we want to filter all the products where the price field is storing a numeric value for that to this dollar type we can assign the data type which is number or we can also assign decimal or double here okay and if we want to filter all the documents where the price field is storing a string value so instead of discount this should be price so we want to filter all the products where the price field is storing a string value then to this dollar type operator we will specify that data type we will specify string let's see this practically so again let me go ahead and let me clear the shell here again let's say db dot products dot find to this we are going to pass a filter object and here 
let me see if we have any string value for price so here price is an integer value here also it is an integer value here also it is an integer value let's check for discount okay let's check for this available okay so let's do with this with available if you see here the available is storing a string value and here this available is storing a boolean value so let's filter the documents based on this available field so here let's specify the field name which is available okay and to this we are going to assign another object and there we are going to check if this available field is storing a boolean value so here i'll say dollar type and the data type will be boolean and we need to pass it as a string value if i go ahead and if i press enter so it says unknown type name boolean let's try with bool okay so with bool it is working okay so here if you see the data type of this available is bool because it is storing a boolean value true you can see here in all these documents this available field is storing a boolean value so all those documents have been filtered here based on the type of the value which this available field is storing now let me go ahead and let me rerun that command but here instead of bool i'll pass string and now if i go ahead and if i press enter it should return us all those documents where the available field is storing a string value if i press enter so it has returned us one document and in that document you will see that the available field is storing a string value okay so we can use type operator to filter documents based on the type of the value a field is storing and this operator it allows you to work with right type of data and avoid any runtime errors in your application code so for example if you are writing backend code and you know that this available field it is storing a string value or a boolean value so before using it in your code you might want to check whether for a given document it is storing a string value or boolean value and based on that you might want to change your logic right so you can use this operator in your backend code to check what type of data a particular field is storing this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day